The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. Uh, we're 30 minutes into the uh, trading session after the jobs report. And here's how the markets are trading. You've got a mixed bag with regard to the equity futures. The Dow equity future up 18 points. The NASDAQ is up 80. The ES mini is up 11. The Russell's back uh, two points. But that spot volatility is trading below its 50-day exponential moving average. And that is bullish sign for the ES mini. Over in Asia last night and uh, Australia, Australia, all the markets uh, finishing higher. The uh, biggest change out there was the Nikkei confirmed a buy the D point pattern with its gap to the upside. Gold having a nice move. It's up a little over 1%. At 17, it's trading out at 1776. That's up about $18. Silver is up 2% right now, 47 pennies. She's trading at 2313. Natural gas is uh, flat. Lights we crude is up 73 pennies. The 30 year treasury is uh, completely flat out here. US dollar index back just a tad out there, trading out at about 9407. So let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. That's probably the best thing to uh, help us understand what the markets are, or some of the markets are, are signaling to us. You got the ES Mini, upper left hand side. Price yesterday closed above the top of its daily profile. Right now it's trading above the top. 43.87 is the key level. If price remains above that, that suggests to move back to its prior swing point or its all time highs, more likely the all time highs. That will be the signal if the spot volatilix continues to trade and close below the 50-day exponential moving average, which is at 1945, price to trade at 1897. The second message for a rally, a continued rally, or the seasonal bottom that would be in, would be the NQ closing above the top of its profile, 1914,986. 14, the high so far today, 14,996. So watch that level. U.S. dollar index not providing us with much information. Gold is trying to get back inside its uh, weekly profile. A close above 1774.60 would be a positive outcome. On uh, the 30-minute uh, time frame chart, it's going to gold. That is going to form a TD9 count pattern. It's going to do that between now, 9 o'clock, and 10, whatever the high is on that pattern. If price exceeds that, that is a very bullish outcome. Otherwise, expect that the move higher is going to come to a pause for at least a period of time. And that period of time could be maybe just an hour or two, or it could be a full pullback out there. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next on this fantastic Friday. Have a great weekend. I'll look forward to seeing you on Monday at 1 a 1 p.m. sharp. Take care, folks.